Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to do an energy reading for the sun sign of Scorpio. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If after viewing the video you feel guided to book a personal reading with me, I'll have those details in my description box. So messages for Scorpio. Hmm. Okay, and we've got to. Let me make sure I didn't get any more. Okay. So, uh, Scorpio, the first card I have is Ruby. Bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Whoops, sorry. So, um, what I'm feeling with this card is that you're going through a period of healing. Maybe there was some hard realizations, some hard truths that you've had recently um, had to um, to stomach, okay? And um, sometimes the truth is hard to bear, right? The pill is hard to swallow sometimes. And Source is um, reminding you at this time to um, not do this healing by yourself, to reach out to people that um, love and support you, and to call on your guides, okay? The second card I have is Kyanite. Um, make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. And taking care of yourself is, is part of the battle that you can do when you're overcoming um, difficult situations. Take, um, take rest as you need. Um, eat healthy. Drink lots of water. Um, listen to the dialogue that's in your mind, okay? Um, don't berate yourself. Don't hate yourself. Don't um, deny yourself love, okay? Um, let's get some more cards. Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Scorpio. What? Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm still I'm getting a common thread with all of these cards here. And this card says play, have fun, celebrate. Don't be so serious. Don't take yourself so serious, Scorpio, okay? Take a light, a light-hearted approach to everything that's been going on. Um, you know, um, sometimes I can get quite lethargic in my healing process, and all I can do is like lay on my bed and watch my favorite shows. And if that's what it takes for you to um, to help you to recover and feel playful, do that. Do what feels right to you. If you have a pet, take your pet for a walk. Maybe take your pet to the park. Change up the scenery a little bit. Okay. Just do make the tiniest of, of adjustments to make things a little bit better, okay? And the second card I have is Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. So have no doubt that what you're going through is um, divinely, um, has been divinely appointed, okay? That uh, what you're dealing with has been for the evolution of your soul, okay? Um, all the hardships that you have, have come across have been to uh, allow your um, senses to be awakened, okay? To allow your heart space to come wide, to allow your chakra and your crown to um, receive inspiration, to receive messages, okay? To um, allow new perspectives to come in, okay? You're an energetic being, you're not a human being, okay? We just come in this physical body. So I'm gonna pull some tarot. Um, I'll use these tarot cards, okay? Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know for their highest good? Um, a messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know? Okay. Uh, okay. So you've got the Eight of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is looking really good. Um, uh, in the recent past, you've had you had the the um, eight of wands. This is communication from source, quick communication. So I'm really just getting like this abrupt change of um of of course of where you were headed. Um, it could have been that you realized that the job that you were doing no longer served you. That you were um just waking up as a as, as a robot as a robot, repeating um 24 hour periods. Um, incessantly, rep repetitively, without any um, 
intention or without any real like sense perception going on that you um you kind of um were a bit zombified and you're waking up to something here okay you're listening to something more powerful that you are starting to gain clarity um in muddy waters okay um and the present energy you have the two of wands and the page of pentacles so there's something that you're um, planning to do here. Um, you, you, um, this plan that you have is um, tr you're trying to, um, to change your direction here. You want things in your reality to be different. You, um, you're tired of the same old, same old. That you are, um, you want to feel excited again. You want to feel like a child again. You, um, want, you just want things to be different. Um, you don't, you're tired of, um, of the same old, same old is what I'm getting. And you're, and you're, um, looking for answers on how to do that, okay? Um, in your future energy, you have the nine of pentacles. So your diligence and your searching is, um, bound to pay off. Just stay the course and, um, keep working hard toward your dreams and ambitions. I'm not sure if you, um, have decided on what it is that you would like to do or the thing or the changes that you would like to make, but you're finally aware that um, changes need to be had and action needs to be taken. I'm just, I'm kind of feeling that you're not quite sure where to go just yet, that you're still entertaining um, this change, okay? That it's, um, it's, it's, um, it's happening for you, okay? So let's get some more messages. Uh, more messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know for their highest good? The chariot card. What do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Scorpio. I am like jittery a little bit. And maybe that's how you're feeling at this time, um, Scorpio. That whatever that message that you received or that very powerful insight was so powerful that has left you feeling um, this anticipation that you know that something is coming through for you, that you know without a shadow of a doubt that this change is happening and you're willing to participate in it and once you are clear on what that is, okay? So I have the chariot card for here, here for you. Um, I also have the six of pentacles, the nine of wands, and let's get the final card here, and the king of swords. So um, this change is, is coming through for you. It's up to you to take the steps, to take action, okay? And with this, sorry, I'm telling you, I'm like, I think I drink too much coffee today. Uh, anyways, what this chariot card tells me is that um, by making those minor adjustments in your life that you've already set the ball rolling for this change to happen, okay? I feel like you could have put in your notice at work. You could have been, maybe you're starting to collaborate with certain groups of people that are like-minded, that share the same ideas as you and ideals. Um, something is going on in your um, 3D reality that is, um, that's, that's setting the ball rolling, okay? Rest assured. Um, and you're, uh, to, you also have the um, Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. If you want to see this endeavor um, take fruit, it's going to take a lot of hard work, Scorpio, okay? You're going to have to be insistent. You're going to have to be committed, okay? You're going to, um, uh, this situation is, um, uh, uh, this it's in balance with you. It's in harmony with you, okay? This, um, um. This is no longer uh, robotic living, okay? This is no longer um, same old, same old, okay? This is going to um, to to cause harmony in your life, okay? A greater, um, it's going to bring peace for you, okay? But it's going to take a lot of work, and uh, it's going to take the strength of this King of Swords here, okay? You're going to have to take, um, sh um, sh you're going to have to be very strong and direct, okay? You're going to have to um, seek after your truth, okay? Um, what is Scorpio's deepest hearted truth, okay? This can't be, um, in the end, it could be about um, uplifting others and um, helping other people, but um 
for it to, um, to, to get from point A to point B, this needs to be centered on Scorpio, okay? What is the deepest truth of Scorpio? And I know that you're a very intense sign and extremely emotional. So use those um, um, traits to your, um, to your advantage, okay? To really tap into that intuition and listen to what it's trying to tell you, okay? Um, that's all the, those are all the messages that I have for you, Scorpio. Um, if you um, want to book, a, if you want to go a little bit deeper um, with this message, book a personal reading with me, okay? I'll see you in the next one.